Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice Diophantine equation a squared plus b squared minus 2a minus 4b is equal to 20. We need to find all possible values of a and b where a and b are positive integers. It means a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. First of all, we rearrange these terms. We write this a squared with this negative 2a and we write this plus b squared with this negative 4b. Like this, a squared minus 2 times a plus b squared minus 4 times b is equal to 20. Now, we want to make uh, this uh, a squared minus 2a a perfect square and this uh, b squared minus 4b a perfect square according to this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. So, we write this a squared a squared. This uh, negative 2a can be written as uh, minus 2 times a times 1. So, to make this a perfect square, we add 1 in this expression. Now, this is a perfect square. Then we write this plus b squared plus b squared. And this uh, negative 4b can be written as uh, negative 2 times b times 2 means uh, to make this a uh, perfect square we have to add 2 squared in this expression. So, we add 2 squared or 4 in this expression. Now, this is a perfect square is equal to 20. Now, we have added uh, this one this 4 at left hand side 1 plus 4 5 it means uh, we have added 5 at left hand side. So, to balance this uh, we also add 5 at the right hand side. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity this uh, a squared minus 2 times a times 1 plus uh, 1 can be written as a minus 1 whole squared plus this uh, b squared minus 2 times b times 2 plus uh, 4 can be written as b minus 2 whole squared is equal to 20 plus 5 25. Now, we suppose that this uh, a minus 1 is equal to x and this b minus 2 is equal to y. Let a minus 1 is equal to x and uh, b minus 2 is equal to y. And we substitute x and y in this equation, then this equation will become x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 25. Now, we have sum of 2 squares at left hand side that sum should be equal to 25. We write the possible values of x and y such that x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. First, we write value of x as 0 squared plus value of y 5 squared. This is equal to 25. Next, we write 3 squared plus 4 squared. And 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16. So, 9 plus 16 is 25. Next, we write 4 squared plus 
3 squared again this is equal to 25 and in the last we write 5 squared plus 0 squared and this is equal to 25 so from here we get the pairs of x comma y is equal to the first pair is 0 comma 5 and second pair is 3 comma 4 and third pair is 4 comma 3 and fourth pair is 5 comma 0 now recall that a minus 1 is equal to x and b minus 2 is equal to y recall that a minus 1 is equal to x and b minus 2 is equal to y now from this equation if we move this negative 1 to the right hand side then a will be equal to x plus 1 and from this equation if we move this negative 2 to the right hand side then b will be equal to y plus 2 now by using these two equations and these values of x and y we can find the values of a and b so when x is equal to 0 then a will be equal to 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and when y is equal to 5 then b will be equal to 5 plus 2 and this is equal to 7 and when a is equal to 3 then a will be equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 when y is equal to 4 then b will be equal to 4 plus 2 and this is equal to 6 and when x is equal to 4 then a will be equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and when y is equal to 3 then b will be equal to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 when x is equal to 5 then a will be equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 and when y is equal to 0 then b will be equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 so when a is equal to 1 then b is equal to 7 and when a is equal to 4 b will be equal to 6 when a is equal to 5 then b will be equal to 5 then a will be equal to 6 and b is equal to 2 so from here we get pairs of solutions of a comma b is equal to first pair is 1 comma 7 and second pair is 4 comma 6 and third pair is 5 comma 5 and fourth pair is 6 comma 2 this is the final answer of this equation